Hi guys, in this video I am going to show you how to set up a forever free business email with Zoho in just few simple steps. So let's get started. First thing first you need to have a domain. I just bought a domain from GoDaddy and I want to set up a business email for it. As you can see my domain name is Global Dynamics. Uh, what we need to do is configure the DNS setting for this domain. Uh, let's head over to Zoho Mail uh, to get this done. If you don't have a Zoho account, uh, you need to create a, a new account. Just click on sign up and follow the prompts. Since I have already an account, I am going to log in. Once you log in into Zoho, uh, click on the mail section and uh, we will be redirected to mail.zoho.com. So wait for it. So we are redirected to mail. Uh, now here we need to add a phone number and verify it. So follow the prompt to complete this verification. And let me fast forward this part. Now a phone number is successfully added and verified. Now here we have two options. Create a domain based email and create personal email account. Since we are setting up business email using domain. So uh, select the first option and click on proceed. Next we have various plan available. Uh, we are going to choose a free plan which allow us to create up to 5 email addresses. If you want more than 5 accounts then you have to opt for a paid plan. Uh, so let's uh, click on try now or to proceed with the free plan. Now it's time to add our domain into Zoho Mail. So uh, let's click on add our domain. Let me click on add now. Uh, here enter your domain. Uh, let me quickly enter uh, my domain globaldynamics.l and enter your organization name. You can give it any name and select the industry type and then click on add now. Next, uh, now we need to verify our domain. So click on proceed. Now to verify our ownership, we need to add a TXT record uh, to domain's DNS settings. Also copy the TXT value and uh, switch over to uh, GoDaddy. If you have a domain from any other website, then the procedure will be same. So in GoDaddy, uh, go to DNS setting and click on add new record. And in the type, uh, select TXT and name as at the rate and uh, paste the value here. And then uh, click on save. Once you save the TXT record, uh, keep in mind that DNS changes uh, can take time to propagate. This means it might take a few minutes uh, before Zoho can verify your domain. But in some cases, uh, DNS propagation can be happen almost instantly. So click on uh, verify to check the status. And yes, our domain is verified instantly. As you can see, the message confirmed that you have uh, verified your domain ownership. Now it's time to create a business email on this domain. Let's create an email using info. Then the email will look like uh, info uh, at globaldynamics.l. Uh, to create it, uh, click on create. Here you will see a user section. If you want to create a more you email user, uh, for example, you want to create a email with your name or uh, like support uh, at your domain.com, then you need to create a user from here. Uh, but for now, let's skip this tab and click on uh, proceed to setup group. Uh, you can also create a group uh, on Zoho, but uh, we will skip this and click on proceed to DNS. Now, this is the main part of the domain setup. As you can see, Zoho provides several DNS records uh, that we need to add to our domain DNS setting. Uh, these include MX record for mail delivery, SPF record to prevent email spoofing and DKIM record to ensure email integrity. So copy the MX record and switch back to GoDaddy. Uh, here click on create new record and select TXT and add all three MX record. And we need to add one by one by clicking on add new record. Once you enter all the values, click on save and wait for it. 
and now dns uh, records are added in our uh, domains dns uh, so uh, it's time for spf record so copy this value and uh, follow the same procedure SPF record is also done, uh, it's time for the DGIN. All the records are now successfully added as you can see. Uh, now click on verify all in Zoho mail to check if everything is set up correctly. Keep in mind that uh, DNS propagation might take few minutes, typically around uh, 4 to 5 minutes but uh, sometimes it can be quicker or slower depending on the various sectors. Our record is not propagated yet. Uh, so let's move on to next step. If you want to migrate all your existing email from another service to Zoho, click on uh, start migration and follow the prompts. This will help you transfer old email to your new Zoho email account. But I don't want it. So click on proceed to uh, set up mobile access. Zoho mail offer apps for both Android and iOS. So you can download uh, the Soho Mail app from Play Store or App Store you want. Finally, click on proceed to complete the setup and configuration process. This will finalize your Soho Mail setup and ensure everything is ready to use. So guys, this is how our dashboard look like. We have one domain and one user. You can also add uh, more than one domain on a single account. Uh, now uh, let's verify uh, DNS is propagated or not. Click on the domain. And here you see yet to point MS record, I mean it's still not propagated yet. Uh, so as you can see MX verification failure. We have to wait for few more minutes. Once the DNS propagation is completed, uh, you will see that MX record are verified and everything will be set up perfectly. If it takes longer than expected, don't worry this is normal. Just give it some time and check back later. To confirm the DNS record have propagated successfully, open the Zoho mail tool and uh, click on lookup. As you can see, uh, what records are showing here, which means DNS has propagated successfully and all the records are in place. So let's open mail.zoho.com. Here, uh, log in with our new email address. In our case, it's info.globaldynamics.in and enter your password and then log in. So we have login into Zoho. To test everything is working, I'm going to send a test email uh, from this uh, newly created email address to my personal Gmail account. So uh, let's uh, compose a new email address. Here I'm going to type uh, this is uh, email testing and click on send. Now let me check my Gmail account to see uh, if the test email is being received or not. Uh, so let me open Gmail. And yes, as you can see, we have received uh, the test email from info at globaldynamics.in. Uh, let's uh, reply to this email to ensure everything is functioning properly. So let me click on it works and click on send. Email is sent. Uh, let's go back to Zoho and refresh this page. And there you have it. The reply has been successfully sent and received. Uh, this confirmed that Zoho mail setup is complete and working as expected. So that's it for it. If you found this video helpful uh, on how to set up business email for free, then please give it a big thumbs up. If you have any question or need any further assistance, uh, drop a comment below. I will happy to help. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. This is Jarvis signing off.